Hi, I'm going to be reviewing a facial mask today and this facial mask is a Nip and Fab one which I'll talk to you a little bit about in a minute. So I went to Boots the other day and as I was doing my usual bits and bobs I came across the Nip and Fab aisle, I love their products, and I saw this and it said new, well on the shelf it said new products so I thought ooh okay and it was £5.50 but I've had a look online now and they're currently doing an offer for £3.69 I think for this mask and other things as well other nip and fab things on the Boots website which I'll link all down below so you can take a look for yourselves afterwards if you want to. So the reason I got this is because it says it's a glycolic fix bubble mask extreme and then it's got three main areas that it concentrates on which is cleansing and oxygenating, exfoliating with 2% glycolic acid and glow boost and radiance and I thought oh that's perfect it sounds really good plus the fact that it's a bubble mask sounds a bit exciting a bit different so I thought I'll give it a go and I thought I'll film it to show you and to talk about what my skin is like afterwards and whether it's worth buying or not. It's charcoal infused and it's a bubble mask. It's 23 grams, it's one sachet and one face mask inside. So that's what it looks like. There. So I'll just read a little bit on the back about what it claims to do. Our oxygenating cleansing formula is enriched with 2% glycolic acid to smooth and retexture skin. Upon application, oxygen bubbles rise from the charcoal infused mask, lifting away impurities and dead skin cells. Skin is deeply purified, feeling fresh and soft to the touch. Sounds amazing. And then it says instructions before use rub the surface of the pouch to mix the contents well and fold the mask and apply directly to a dry face leave for 10-15 minutes or until the oxygen bubbles have risen significantly and gently peel away massage remaining bubbles into the face and rinse off with lukewarm water discard mask after use and it just it's got a few cautions wash hands thoroughly do not use on eczema broken skin or any ir irritated skin and discontinue use if you experience redness or swelling or irritation and consult the doctor if symptoms persist not to be used for under threes but um yeah and then it's got different languages then and it says manufactured in korea heard a lot about Korean face masks recently so yeah so anyway I thought I'd give it a go so before I give it a go I need to take all this slap off my face so I'll do that and I'll speed it up for you because <laughs> you don't want to see me doing that <laughs> so to do it I'm using my favorite micellar water which is the Garnier it's this one I think this cost me about five pound from Boots I bought it at the same time actually because I had a little one so I thought I'd go for a bigger one and just using some pads. So I'll speed this up. Right, that's all the makeup come off. Oh, bleh, my face doesn't look that great. Mm, I need a boost. I do need a boost. So I've got to, what did it say? Massage. I've got to rub the surface of the pouch to mix the contents well. Ooh. I'm rubbing the pouch. Right then. Ah, it's all bubbly. Look inside. Can you see? It's all bubbly. Okay, uh, look, oh how odd, how really, really odd, oh, it feels really slippy and oh my gosh, oh, it is strange, oh, I feel, oh it smells gorgeous, right, Okay, I don't like doing this because it always feels really cold, but here I go. <laughs> it's not too bad. Not too bad. What's my nose doing? I want it to come right down on my nose because my nose isn't the greatest. Get it away from my eyes. Uh, 
I hope it won't dye my hair colour. <laughs> Can you imagine if it stripped my hair colour? Oh! It feels quite nice, it's not uncomfortable. Oh, look! The bub there's bub you can see the bubbles bubbling up. Get that away from my nose, I don't want that going up there. This is weird. Oh no. There's a knock at the door. Heck. I can't go like this. It was. Hold on. Oh my god. That was so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's dropping down. Oh. That was so, so funny. The doorbell rang. Typical, typical 10 minutes of wearing this mask. That's all I wanted. Doorbell rang. <laughs> but I made my little one answer the door with me standing on the stairs. And it happened to be my lovely neighbour next door. And then I said, oh, excuse me, oh, I've got a mask on. She looked up from me, oh, and then my, and then my little boy then, he looked up at me and he screamed. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh too much because the bubbles go in my mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> so then my daughter came out then and goes, oh, you look creepy, mum. So, <laughs> Oh, typical, typical door have to go, but the good news is there's two parcels and one looks like a beauty subscription box. Don't know what it is, but I'll have a look in a minute. I've got three minutes left. That is super bubbly. <laughs> Just looks <laughs> I could have done something in halloween -y with this mask, can I? The abominable snowman. <laughs> oh. See, look when I blow out. Yeah, it doesn't feel as if it's tight to my skin. It does run my forehead and my cheeks, but around here, as you can see, it's quite floppy. And I've just opened it up there now. So, Mmm, that is mad. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look how much bubbles there are. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. right, I've got to peel this off. Oh, look at that. That is super cool, super, super cool. And it, my skin, what I can feel underneath, I know I've got this on top, but it does feel really, really nice. It feels smooth. So I'd be excited to see what it looks like now when I rinse this off. I'm gonna rinse it with water, warm water. It feels nice, it feels nice to my skin. I do feel nice and fresh and yeah, I think it's really nice. To be honest, not a big difference between this one and say another sheet mask. Not much of a difference. And I think my overall favorite, favorite, favorite mask is, my, is the Kors, the Beauty Cubes. They're only about that small, tiny little cubes. And I had a rose hip one and it cost about two euro fifty online. I tried looking for them in the UK and I can't find them online, but I'm desperate for some, so I might order a couple from Greece or whatever they were selling it from, because it's amazing. And that is like a paste, you know, the bog standard old fashioned type mask where you just slather it on your face and that is a mask. Nothing has compared to that since, and that's only what, two pound, two euro fifty, so a little bit cheaper in, um, UK money or thereabouts anyway so would I buy this again this <laughs> would I buy this again <laughs> there it is um oh I don't think I would pay £5.50 for it if I'm honest I mean for entertainment value scaring the neighbours and the kids oh yeah go for it absolutely wonderful <laughs> 
I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> Not my kids, they used to be doing staff stuff, but it's my neighbour. <laughs> but never mind. So for entertainment value, and also, you know, watching it and listening to the bubbles, you know, popping and getting bigger on my face. I loved it. So for fun factor, 100% recommend it. For actual skin, any difference for my skin? I do, it does feel, it does look like it's brightened it up a bit. Um, and it does feel nice now. Well, it's dried properly now and it does feel really nice on my skin. But as I said, honest, honest opinion is that not much difference between say one of these and another basic sheet mask not a wow product but no i do like it i do like it and the fact that it's hysterical isn't it it's just a bit bonkers and <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no funny so anyway, if you've tried it, let me know. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please leave me a like. And if you'd like to see more, um, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be wonderful. I have got a ton of subscription boxes coming up because they all seem to come at roughly the same time every month. So I've got a few coming up. And I've got a little advent calendar that I bought for half price in Superdrug. And I bought it for £12 and I'm so excited to try it. So that... Has arrived I think it looks like it from the parcel that my neighbour just delivered just now I don't think it is a um, beauty subscription box I had a look quick look when I went downstairs to wash my face so yeah so I'll be unboxing that tomorrow possibly but yeah so an affordable advent calendar maybe so thank you for watching <laughs> take care bye